As we mentioned in part one and two in our review of the Kermis ultrasonic machine, the water in the basin is not intended to be kept overnight, so you need to drain it and go through a cleaning process every day that you use it. You'll need a few things to carry that out. The first thing is a tube to drain the water. It comes with the, uh, the machines. You also want something to drain it into. I like to use a, a plastic jug where I've cut a slit in the top. You can insert the tube. It kind of acts like a third hand. Uh, by the way, there's more than a gallon of water, so if you use a gallon jug like this, you're going to need to stop the process, drain it, come back and finish it off. You'll also want to have a soft brush to address the velvet lips that are in each slit in the top of the machine, some distilled water uh, in a spray bottle so that you can spray those velvet lips, and then lastly you'll need a nice clean cloth and some of the same isopropyl alcohol that we used in the bath itself. We use that to wipe down the interior of the machine. And then lastly a nice dry cloth to set the top on so everything can dry. The first step in the cleaning of the machine, we want to turn it off and unplug it for safety. Then we want to remove the top, unplug its little mini plug, take out the top. There'll be some water clinging there, just let it drip off. And for now, we're just going to set it aside. We will, once the tank is drained, remove these individual uh, plastic pieces that hold uh, the velvet lips. But for now, we'll just set that on the towel and set about to drain the tank. We'll, of course, need our hose. Pressure fits over the nozzle like so. Insert it into whatever vessel you'll use to drain. And then we want to actuate the valve. I recommend don't let the water get to the top of the gallon jug before you turn the valve off because there is always a bit of water remaining in the tube itself. Okay, we're starting to get close. Let's go ahead and shut the valve off. Give it a second to drain. Go ahead and remove your tube. I like to just set it in an upward position so any remaining water doesn't dribble out. We'll drain this and be right back. Okay, we're back. All the house plants are now happy and watered. Now, the remainder. Okay, at this point, I recommend picking up the machine on an angle so that any of the remaining water in the basin goes through the drain hole and anything remaining in the tube runs out into your receptacle. There it is, you can hear it going. There we are. Before removing the hose, close the valve. Sometimes get a dribble or two, so you might set a towel underneath. There you go, nice and clean. We'll set the hose aside to dry. We'll drain that later. Okay, what we want to do next is to wipe up any remaining water that's in the basin. And the next step is particularly important if you've cleaned any records that might be moldy. Take a wee bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol, same stuff you used in the tank originally, and just give it a quick wipe down. First thing I like to do is just wipe off any standing water. It'll obviously evaporate. You don't have to be too overly concerned about it. There we go. We'll leave this out overnight to thoroughly dry, but what we want to do next 
is address each of these velvet lips. Now, you can use your fingernails, if you like, to get down there to release these. I like to use a little uh, wooden skewer. I find that helps a little bit. But before I take them out, I want to point out that these are intended to be used in mirrored pairs. That is to say, if you notice right here, there's a little plastic lip that sticks out. As I remove it, it should be clearer. You see how it has a little plastic lip there on the top? You don't have that on the bottom. So the idea is, when you install these, they'll click right in, as such, and you want to have that little lip on both sides facing each other towards the edge of the machine, just as it is there and there. You'll notice there, that's not the case here. That is so when the record is inserted, it poses no chance of scratching up against that plastic lip there. So again, you can use your finger. Let's start with the um, seven inch, although we didn't use that. For now, we'll just set it aside really do like the wooden skewer. I think it makes the process a lot simpler. Very good. That's all there is to it. We'll set, actually I'll set this upside down to let it dry nicely. We'll get our distilled water. So the first thing you might do is just quickly brush off any contaminants. We didn't use this very much today, but if, had you gone through many, many records, this would be a worthwhile process. There we go. And then lastly, give it a spray with distilled water. And just set them down to dry. I recommend letting them dry overnight. And that's it. That's how we clean the Kermis ultrasonic machine.